so I'm in hospital getting checked out um, I just had an x-ray and soon I'll be having a um, ultrasound and the doctor's gonna come and see me so this is why this is why I debud the babies on our farm um, and will continue to do so and it's why from now on Bonnie is gonna wear a pool noodle crown until we can sort her having her horns removed um, she is quite set in her ways she's not young Deirdre is different I've known Deirdre since she was young we've done a whole milking season together she's never posed a threat or risk to us she doesn't use her horns in the same way Bonnie does uh, Valley however will probably be having her horns removed when there is no risk of her or the baby being in any danger or, or stress so we haven't done it yet because she's still pregnant and um, we don't want to risk the baby and we don't want to risk her health so we'll only do it when it's safe to do so um, for everyone concerned so um, yeah I'm gonna keep you guys posted and I'm gonna make sure I do a little video pardon me a video for you guys of Bonnie being um, crowned her princess crown uh, I don't know what color it's gonna be yet because I haven't gone and get, got it uh, and I'll give you an update on how I go when I get out of hospital hey guys it's Mel here from Honeybee Farmstead and just for something different it's late afternoon I normally do my video starts in the morning camera's falling over, dodgy as. Anyway, we're off to pick up something really cool. Scary. <laughs> this from the guy who, whose ultimate dream is to go up north and work with bulls on a cattle station. My cousin works on a cattle station up north and he follows him and he loves it and it's his total dream to go up and do the same thing. They're very similar actually. Like watching Zaki grow up and his like personality and stuff very very similar anyway I digress we're off to pick up yet another really cool animal for the farmstead I wonder if you guys can guess um I said I wanted to guess oh they didn't hear me they could see um I've got the trailer on so it's a reasonably big animal and uh, maybe you know they're fully grown i'm getting 11 of them you want me? i think or nine something along those lines and someone in our in our new town where we live was giving them away so i thought that's cool i've always wanted to get them and We've had them before, yes, at the other place where before, we used to live. Before we started the YouTube channel. Before we started YouTube, so you guys haven't seen them on, you know, like on our channel, but you would have seen them before. Like lots of people have got them. It's not an obscure animal, but they're pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so we will show you when we get there. I'll do a little video of us catching them. Can you open that side? Yeah. Oh yes. It's got no thingy. We yep. need a stick. Just get that piece of wood for now. Hold it in. Let's let it go there. Yep. Yeah. Okay, can you put the chaff up there please? Yeah. Because there's more room here. I'm gonna have to stand and open and shut it anyway. Otherwise, they. No, unfortunately. Yeah. Ready? Okay, okay. okay ready? Okay. 
then push him through as I open it. Because they're trying to jump out as I open it. It's okay, I've got it. I'm just keeping an eye on them from the side. Do you want to go this side? Barn of Elders. Uh, all doing really nicely. Uh, have they done their quarantine? They absolutely have. No, we're not letting them go because they'll eat everything. We are. Now we're going to let the geese out. Wait, Bob, stop, stop. We're going to let the geese out here. Just getting the kids up. To come and help us direct them in. Are you coming? Guys, are you coming down? What is it? Do you want to turn Dad's car off? What's happened? Oh, do you want to go down and turn the water on so I can do the fill up the goat's water? Hey guys! Hey guys, can you turn the water on? So I can fill up the goat's water? Oh, no, we don't want Hang on one sec, let me stand the bucket up. Alrighty. Alright, ready to go. Hey little guys. How you doing? We need another bale of hay in here for these babies. No, they're not. 
Okay, ready? Jackson and Grace, go down that end so they don't get all the weight out. We're going to let them all out and we're going to walk them into this cage here. All right, cuddle love your bag. Oh, that one Hi, guys. You want to hop out? Do you want to hop out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There is eleven. That one's got blue eyes. That's pretty cool. I'll come around. Come on, guys. Come on. Do you want to come here? Do you want to help get him out? Hang on. Where's that piece of wood? Get a stick. Yeah. Uh, I've, they've been known to be mean geese. Come on, Hop up in there and get them. Oh. We want them just to go out. <laughs> just get it. No prop. Come on this side. Grace, calm down. When they say one out, hopefully they all come out. Here we go. How noisy is that? Yep, there they go. Oh, yeah, Shush, Grace. Hi, oh, y'all. They are some. Hold this up. Ones. Come on. <laughs> There they are, there they are. Oh. We'll tip that into barrels. That's it, here they go. Come on, Goose, come on, Goose. Okay, okay, stop. Oh, the is all over me. Me too, in my mouth. That's it. Walk them down. Walk them down, 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 walk them down. Stop. Come on, guys. That's it. I'm going to me. I'm only I'll grab you, Grace. I'll grab you. Watch. <laughs> Stop. Don't push them too hard, please. They pinch you, yeah. Yep, come up. Come on, guys. That's it. Come on, guys. That's it. Yep, good job. Good job. Stop, stop, stop. Don't stress. They're not going to come back out where we are. No, I'll, no we look, they the fixed fence it. Up. We oh. the fences up. And they got ah. their own bit of water there too. Go down there and turn them around. He's going to be quiet. <laughs> Push him this way, Grace. Here they go. See, they're eating grasses. They love grasses. Ready? Ready? What do you think of that, guys? I thought you were going to get me a horse. No, baby, we're getting there. We're looking for the perfect. See, you don't ride these or do really much with them. Pony? I want a pony. I know, but because you don't ride geese and things or do very much with them at all. You don't, you don't have to be picky about them. But a horse, you've got to be picky because your beautiful daughter is going to be riding it and you can't have it getting hurt. Oh, yeah. I'm riding a pony, not an actual big horse. Oh, I'm telling you, a pony can hurt you. We're oh. getting there. If any oh, of you no, know of a pony that needs a new home in WA, let us know. She's desperate. <laughs> Wait, desperate. what's Sheila going to um? Check these guys out. out. We're going to have to sort that out, aren't we?
for joining us on this video where we bring geese to our farmstead. We hope you loved it as much as these geese loved being in that big pond. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends, give us a thumbs up and comment below if you have any comments for us. And from everyone at Honeybee Farmstead, we wish you peace and happiness and until the next video, bye for now.